Hi guys, it's Jamie from supergrowth.com and I'm just putting together a, a really quick video um, just to go through some of SEM Rush's main features um, because I strongly believe this, uh, to my knowledge, is the best all-round SEO tool that you can get. Uh, it really is amazing. Um, and I've made some pretty, those of you who've been on my website, you've seen the little SEM widget probably. Um, where you put in your website and it gives you a little demo of it. And I've made some pretty strong statements on there, you know, about stealing your competitors' keywords and backlinks and things like that. And I wanted just to go through the main features and show you how, you know, you can do that kind of thing. Um, so what we're going to cover, we're going to skim over each one really quickly. Uh, but just to give you a brief idea of what I'll go through, um, I'll show you how to steal your competitors' keywords, um, how to steal your competitors' backlinks, how to find new keywords that you'd never have thought of, um, how to get the search volume for those keywords, you know, to, to, to know if it's whether, whether it's worth going for them or not. Um, keyword difficulty, so it'll tell you how, you know, how, how hard it's going to be to rank for a certain keyword. Um, it'll show you toxic links as well, so backlinks that are damaging your rankings. Um, it's got an on-page SEO checker, so it will crawl every page on your website and check each page for any kind of SEO issue. And it's very accurate and very quick. Um, it's got a built-in keyword uh, rank checker, so you enter your keywords that you're ranking for, and it'll show you daily movement and give you like a really nice overall summary. Really nice, really fast, really quick, really accurate. Um, Another feature I really love, um, brand monitoring. So it basically monitors the whole internet um, for mentions about your brand and then alerts you, which is a really, really good way of getting free backlinks. Because, you know, someone might mention you in the cop comment section on an article or even in an article, but not link to you. And then you can reach out to them and say, hey, can you, you know, can you replace that mention with a link? Or do you want to link to this page because it's more relevant? Or... You know, it's a really good way of getting some free backlinks. And finally, a super cool feature that shows you like when there's shifts in Google's algorithm. So if you have a little spike in traffic or, you know, even a, a, a dip in, in traffic and uh, you don't know what it is, uh, then you can log into SEM Rush and see if there's been any movement in the thousands of keywords that they monitor on Google to tell you whether Google's changing their algorithms or not. And I think that's an awesome feature. Okay, so let's start off by stealing some of my competitors' keywords. So a really cool feature in SEM Rush is that uh, you can type in a domain. Uh, so I'm going to go with smalltools.com. Now, this is kind of a similar website to mine. Um, and let's have a look. So it, it gives you an overall view of, of this competitor, um, all the kind of uh, keywords that they're ranking for, all their backlinks, etc. But let's go to organic research. And da -da. And now, let's, uh, let's uh, do it by volume. Now, these two here, uh, I've since I found them, um, those are keywords that I'm now going to go after. Because look at that search volume. That's absolutely huge. And then if you actually look at the page uh, that they're, that's ranking for that, you know, it's not really amazing. Um, so I reckon I could get on the first page for that. And with that, kind of traffic it's well worthwhile because I know I can write a crawler that will go on a website and crawl every page and then check every page you know to see if any of its content has been stolen by another website uh, so that kind of keyword is absolutely perfect for me and um, you know you guys can use this in exactly the same way you can enter your competitors website and it'll show you you know all the keywords that they're ranking for and the search volume for them where they're ranking how hard it is to rank for them, and we'll, we'll cover that in a bit. Um, 
and that's just that's just an amazing feature it really is um, okay so now we're gonna have a look at backlinks so we're still going we're still trying to um, see if we can acquire some the same kind of backlinks that this competitor website has um, so we've gone to the backlinks tab got their domain in there um, let's have a look at backlinks now it doesn't it won't take long to spot um, something that's probably gonna be perfect for me that looks promising see I have a article spinner and there we go so yeah so there you go so this is a great example so we're looking at this uh, competitor in mind looking at their backlinks and we can see that this website here is linking to their article rewriter and just so happens i also have an article rewriter so i could easily reach out to this website and say hey I see you're linking to this article rewriter. How about you link to mine? You could either say instead, because it's got, you know, this feature and this feature that that's that the one you're linking to currently doesn't have, or would you like to include this one as well? Um, so that's, you know, it's a fantastic tool because, um, you know, you could either be sneaky and try and take your competitor's backlink away by, you know, asking them to replace it with yours because you think yours is better. Um, or you could get, a, you know, another backlink on that page. Um, which would still be very beneficial. Um, so hopefully that shows you how you can, you know, view your competitors' backlinks and basically just nick some of them if you're really smart. Um, okay. Okay, so we're now going to cover finding new keywords. Now, I've gone to the uh, keyword analytics section um, and clicked on phrase match, and I've entered one of my keywords that I go after here expired by expired domains um because something that i didn't realize with this keyword um i have my page currently optimized for expired domain finder um which actually has hardly any traffic um as you can see it has a pitiful amount of about 30 searches per month and what I should have done is I should have used this tool before um, and realized that um, my page should, you know, apart from the obvious of, you know, expiring domains and expired domains, um, it should be optimized for expired domain tools, which has, um, you know, although it's still relatively low volume, it still has, you know, about, what is that, 10 times the amount of traffic. Um, so it's just little tweaks like that to your keywords and also you can put in your main keyword there um, and it'll give you loads of LSIs so kind of related keywords to sprinkle throughout your content um, you know SEO expired domains and things like that um, there's tons of good examples here so that's basically how to find new keywords and it'll give you the search volume uh how hard it is to rank for them um the cost if it was paid search um the trend as well so you can see if it's a seasonal keyword um and i think that's that's a really nice feature actually that trend especially if you're doing like an amazon affiliate store or something um, and you don't know if certain products are only purchased, you know, around Christmas time. Okay, so we're now just really briefly going to have a look at this backlink audit feature. Um, now, my backlink profile for my website is relatively small. Um, and fortunately, uh, out of the 256 backlinks I have, uh, none of them are toxic. Um, you know, which is because I don't really do any kind of um, automated link building or anything kind of black hat like that. 
Um, but this is great. You know, if you've got a new client or something like that and you want to check their backlink profile, or if you're worried someone's a negative SEO attacked your website or something like that, this is a really awesome feature because it will take every backlink and check it, see how spammy it is. And then you can also integrate it into your Google Webmaster tool. So it will create a disavow file for you that you can just drop into your webmaster tools so basically it does all the hard work for you really um, and it tells you about new links and lost links and things like that which is a really nice feature now one of my favorite features here is this site audit so let's take a look at that and basically what this does is you, you give it your domain and then it basically crawls your entire website checking for any kind of SEO issue, any kind of technical issue. Um, and it will basically, you know, list them here for you to correct. So um, luckily for me, as I spend quite a lot of time um, trying to make my website as optimized as I could, it's not too bad. Um, so things like three pages don't have title tags. That is actually correct. But for me, it doesn't really matter that much because they're pages that I don't even care if they're indexed in Google or not. Um, but it's still an amazing feature. Something I actually picked up on um, that I, under the warnings bit here, that I didn't no notice I'd done, I didn't do rather, was, um, not putting alt tags on a lot of my images on my home page um, and a few of my other pages actually i think yeah you can see some of them don't have alt tags which isn't a massive deal but you know in seo every little bit helps um this surprised me as well so this is telling me that um actually that's the wrong one sorry um This is the one I meant. Um, so this is telling me that 10 of my pages on my website have a duplicate H1 and a title tag. And um, I didn't actually realize that was a, a bad thing, uh, but it turns out it is. Um, so that's something I've got to do. And hopefully that'll make some of these pages rank higher and I'll get more traffic. Um, yeah, so hopefully that gives you a rough idea of the power of of what it can do you know it's crawling every page what this feature can do it's crawling every page checking for you know common technical errors um, and the next feature that i wanted to talk about uh, is the keyword rank monitor uh, which is extremely easy to use so i give you a quick demo of it. Um, so here's some that I entered in earlier and you can see it's checking the positions of them and you get, and I only entered them today actually, but that will show you um, if they've gone up or down, give you the volume, how many people are searching for them. And that's, it's so simple to use. Um, and you can add quite a lot in there actually, um, depending on your plan, but you know, more than you'd ever really need to be honest um and it gives you like a no what i really like so you don't have to like log in and check every single keyword daily you do get email alerts but it gives you like an overall percentage like visibility um so you can tell whether you kind of your website's on the up or on the down in terms of rank in terms of seo ranking um because you might find sometimes like you've got uh your you know your daily traffic is increasing but that might be because you know of certain social networks and your tra traffic or you know certain websites linking to you and people clicking through those links um so although your overall traffic might be going up your presence in the search engine might be going down and unless you had a tool like this you probably wouldn't notice that because you probably wouldn't notice that dip in traffic um okay and Another awesome feature is this brand monitoring tool. So you basically enter in your brand name and it will just monitor the whole of the internet. And I think it does a few social networks as well. 
Oh, does tw yeah, does Twitter as well. Um, for mentions about your brand. And that is really cool because often people will talk about a brand but not link to it. And then if you reach out to them and say, hey, I saw you talking about my brand, why don't you link to this page? Because it'll be really re you know, relevant and really useful for your your visitors or your followers or whatever. And a lot of the time they'll do it um, because you know if they're talking about your brand, they probably already like it. They probably think it has you know genuinely useful uh, content or products or whatever. So that's a really easy way of um, seeing who's talking about you and then getting backlinks, uh, free backlinks from people talking about you, which is really, really awesome. So the final feature I really wanted to just quickly show you guys is um, it's basically, a, a fi I'm not sure what the official name is, but basically it shows you if there's been fluctuations in Google's algorithm. Um, so like I was saying, sometimes your traffic might dip and you might not know why, you know, and you might panic and think, oh no, have we uploaded some you know horribly unoptimized css and that's slowing our page speed down or you know just do we have toxic backlinks linking to us um you know have we gone over some you know keyword density threshold or in or internal duplicate content threshold or something like that you know there can be so many things in seo where you can just you know ruin your site um and kind of before you start going through all those scenarios um, if you have SEM rush, you can log in and you can see, you know, when there's been changes, um, in Google's algorithm. So they basically monitor, you know, thousands of keywords in their rankings. And then when those keep the rankings for those keywords change and move around, it kind of sets off this sensor. Um, so you can see here, like when Google are releasing you know, pretty big updates that cause significant uh, movement in rankings. And I think that's awesome. Um, you know, whether it's for your own website or a client's website, um, you know, you can see when big releases have come out and, uh, you know, big Google changes and see um, basically how it's affected certain websites. Um, so, yeah, that's... Um, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys. Um, hopefully you'll see how powerful it is. I really, really love it. Um, there are a lot of tools out there um, that kind of do similar things. Like, you know, you've got Moz, which kind of tries to do everything, but then doesn't do anything the best. Um, and there's Ahrefs, which is, you know, an amazing backlink crawler, but then you don't have all this keyword analytical stuff um and it's just not you know as strong in that in that way um i do honestly think sem rush is is like the best all-round seo tool you can buy um it really is awesome and i've just kind of skimmed through like kind of some of the key things there's just there's literally just hundreds of features in here and you know if i was to go through everyone this video would be so long and you get very sick of my voice probably <laughs> so hopefully um you've enjoyed watching this and it's given you a rough idea of what it can do and how it can help you grow your website you know get you more traffic and grow your business um as always any thoughts please comment on on uh, on youtube or on my website in the uh discuss comments um and yeah hopefully i'll speak to you guys soon i've got some really cool software releases coming out so stay tuned thanks guys